Hey everyone, it's me Scarlett. Um, people have been saying that they like these vlog type things, these sort of conversations I have. Um, so I thought I'd carry on with it. Um, so firstly, sorry if I look <laughs> a bit bedraggled, I'm actually knackered. Um, long, long story, I'm, I'll get into that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm resting up today, <laughs> I need a break. Um, so this is just a general discussion of life as it is at the moment. Um, so yesterday was uh, Mental Health Awareness Day. Um, I didn't really do anything to take part because I've been kind of pretty open about my mental health and where I am with it at the moment anyway. Um, it was nice to see so many of my friends sort of talking about what they have, who don't really talk about it that much. I mean, it's up to them if they want to speak out about how they are and what they've got and all this sort of thing. Um, it's just nice to see it sort of spoken about so openly. Um, so yeah, with me, um, my mental health is in a, I wouldn't say a weird place, but um, it's very kind of up and down at the moment. Like, um, my my anxiety seems to have dropped way way down which is really good and i was very very aware of that um last weekend um so kind of slight tangent not tangent <laughs> um last weekend i did some filming some freelance filming um with the prospect of the filming potentially leading to um a job um, it's with a company that's starting up its new production company and they were looking at me to do, to basically be the producer for this production company. So they'd set me up um, and basically said to me, can you help sort out uh, the filming for the weekend just gone? So one of the things I've been working on in the meantime has been organising uh, an actress, sorting out costume, discussing locations, etc, etc. Um, it, bear in mind it's a very small little film shoot so it was nothing big or major um, and then I attended the filming last weekend um, and got to take part, I was sort of B-cam so I took my little camera with me, shot some nice footage, shot some behind the scenes things, um, all sorts of stuff and the nice thing is is that I can then use that footage when it's, when it's done and when it's edited and add it to my showreel which I wasn't able to do in my old job but I noticed that I was sort of the calmest I have ever been in a very long time on that film shoot. I really enjoyed myself. Um, it was just, it was just really, really nice. I didn't feel stressed. I didn't feel anxious. Um, sort of all the filming I'd done beforehand in my old job, I would constantly feel like I wanted to throw up beforehand and even though I knew I really enjoyed filming and that it was something I wanted to do I didn't feel like what like sort of the the that's it the sort of pre getting there pre sort of working I just hated I just felt so tight and it was as if I, yeah, I just wanted to throw up, I just wanted to cry, etc, etc. But it was over something that I really wanted to do well, I really wanted to succeed in. So that was really frustrating to sort of suffer from that. And yeah, suddenly, in this new environment, being able to do this sort of of the way I wanted to do it, with no sort of external pressure, no external sort of, sort of ways of dealing with things, suddenly I felt so relaxed, I felt so happy, it was as if I was in the environment that I truly wanted to be in and also I was doing something I really enjoyed and like that enjoyment sort of came out, I had a couple of people there were saying just how happy I looked, like really like I was sort of glowing with delight and happiness despite it chucking it down in the rain. <laughs> um, yeah, I I really enjoyed that. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing the film 
uh, and the finished product. Um, and yeah, and it just sort of confirmed to me that what I'm doing is the right thing. So yeah, my anxiety seems to have kind of gone right down, right, right down, which is great. Um, my depression kind of is still up and down at the moment, but I think that's just, it's just a thing of it, you know, some days are going to be good days, some days are going to be bad days, um, you know, I have moments where my friends will comment something on Facebook, and I'll take that really, really personally, and I kind of have to stop myself and say, no, it's not don't take it personally, it's not meant like that. Um, I'm getting better at that. Um, I mean, I did have to sort of, honestly, temporarily block a friend on Instagram. Not not for anything that's their fault at all. Um, they posted a picture um, of them in their, their relationship and I instantly just got that gut like sudden feeling of sadness again that I keep getting um, this thing that I keep wanting to address with my therapist I hope finally I can do that next week I've got a booking sorted um, this whole thing about relationships and just wanting to cry <laughs> every time they come up it's so stupid and yeah like the fact that I have to keep blocking my own friends on on Instagram just because I'm getting upset about seeing them in a relationship is so stupid. Um, they're not blocked anymore by the way, it was just I needed to, I need to not see this right now kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm addressing that. Yeah, it's, I've, I've kind of accepted it's not going to be a quick fix, it's not going to happen anytime soon and it might never be fully fixed but it's it's something I can work on, um, it's something I can kind of build upon, um, which is better than kind of just this slow steady decline, which is what I had before. And certainly not being in an environment that is enabling that decline is really, really helping. Um, so yeah, um, so what I was doing last night <laughs> and why I'm so kind of not, you know, a bit bedridden, <laughs> a bit bedraggled, um, so last night I was, so, so the filming I was doing the previous weekend was for a uh, up-and-coming production company uh, that is working in tangent with a casting agency. Um, I won't say names just yet, just because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to or not, I don't, nothing's fully established yet, so I'm just keeping that under wraps. But the casting agency um, got in contact with me and a couple of the other people who are looking at starting up the production arm of um, this casting agency um, because they want to kind of expand and go into film production and so on. So they have invited us to a screening uh, at Pinewood Studios. Um, didn't know what the screening was going to be until sort of a week before <laughs> um, but it was sort of a general people who were sort of in the same kind of area sort of um, working with different kinds of people like extras and agencies such as that just getting around chatting to people um, champagne and canapes and all that kind of thing uh, the film we actually got to see was Goldfinger with Sean Connery as James Bond um, I've only ever seen that film, firstly I haven't seen that film in years anyway, and I had only ever watched that film when it was sort of on TV at Christmas. <laughs> I've never seen that film on the big screen, and it was actually amazing seeing it on the big screen. We saw it on, um, uh, I think it's called Goldfinger Avenue or James Bond Avenue, basically one of the avenues is named after James Bond. So we saw it in a screening room in there, which was really cool. Um, I got to talk to some wonderful people. I got to talk to some great women who um, are involved in a lot of sort of horse riding competitively. Uh, one of them is even looking at going to the Tokyo Olympics. So I got to get in discussions with them about, hey, if we want horses for films, can we come to you guys and stuff like that. So I got to do a bit of networking. Um, that was really fun. Uh, it was nice to be around people who were listening to what I had to say 
um, uh, one of the f problems I found in my old job and that was really bringing in my depression was I didn't feel like what I had to say was being listened to and more in a sense of I like to think that I have a good understanding of my my subject matter. <laughs> I, I'm a I, I, I I study film, I love film theory, I love trying to understand film, um, my opinions don't necessarily agree with everyone, um, that's fine, whatever. Um, I find the pre-production almost more interesting uh, than the sort of post-production side of things and all that kind of stuff. Um, what I found was in my old job, I would sort of say, oh no, you, you shouldn't do this or oh there, there are better ways to achieve something and my opinion would count for nothing it would just be shut down and it, it just wouldn't it, it basically my subject matter experience was irrelevant despite me being there for that reason um, I don't know if that's because I was a girl I don't know if that's because I it just didn't matter to them I don't know um, so that really put me in a bad spot just to feel like, wow, my, anything I feel or say and my opinions just don't matter. Um, and to feel like you don't matter and something that you've worked towards and that you have a good understanding of doesn't matter is really upsetting. <laughs> um, so to suddenly be in this environment where people were listening to me and I actually you know, people were sort of taking my words and my advice as actually, no, this is a person who knows what they're talking about, was so refreshing. It was so nice. It was so... And I didn't feel big-headed about it. I just felt like, wow, this is what it's always meant to feel like. You know, I'm not saying I have all the answers, but people were, like, actually taking what I had to say and considering it and were on board with it and that was just really lovely to have that. Um, so went to this uh, sort of gathering, so we had a nice chat, a bit of schmoozing, a uh, bit of networking at the beginning, there was champagne, there was canapes, I'm always really bad with canapes in the sense that I will stuff my face with them but I was very good, I didn't stuff my face with too many canapes. <laughs> um, and then yeah, and then we went and watched the film Goldfinger on the big screen, yeah, which was so cool. Yeah, just sort of sitting there in a cinema with that playing on the big screen just suddenly made me think, wow, yeah, this is what Bond really should be. This I, I'm not a fan of the Daniel Craig James Bond. I don't like really any of the modern James Bonds. I don't think they're very good. I think they're too dark and gritty and rrr, modern day, blah blah blah. Whereas I'm very much of the opinion that James Bond needs to have a certain campiness about it. It needs to have a certain silliness, a certain self-awareness. Um, it, it needs that to work. And I think you need James Bond to not be this tough, hard man. It, I, I don't think that works. Um, and so being able to watch Goldfinger where, you know, it's almost a little tongue-in-cheek, like like James Bond is suave, but he doesn't get everything right. In fact, he actually gets things a bit wrong, um, and it's funny, like it's genuinely funny. I mean, yes, there are some awkward moments where it's like, oh, 1960s sexism. <laughs> like there's a, I, I, I completely forgot this little scene happened. Um, but it's when he, James Bond near the beginning is getting massaged in Miami Beach by this woman and he sort of says, oh, um, uh, say goodbye, dear. And she's like, goodbye, dear, why? And, and he, he says, oh, well, um, this is man's talk. And then she turns around and he slaps her backside. <laughs> I completely forgot that happened in that film. Um, so yeah, it was, what was quite nice was watching that film and where there were moments of really awkward sexism people would like people in the audience would sort of cringe and have that sort of awkward nervous laugh where people are like oh, this is a bit awkward um and that was really refreshing like i 
really liked that people had that reaction. I mean, the scene where he is um, basically kind of forces himself on Pussy Galore, everyone was sort of all like, oh, this is so not okay. Um, and yes, it was uncomfortable, but the fact everyone had that reaction, that was so, that was nice. That was good to know that people recognize that that isn't okay anymore. Um, I mean, I'm very much a person who will see a film and scenes like that, I go, well, it's a product of the time. You know, you can't expect it to be okay because of when it was made. Like that, that is, it is a product of what it is. I'm not saying that excuses it. Oh, I'm being called. I think that's the post. One moment. It wasn't the post, it was my neighbour. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm trying to remember where I got to before getting distracted. Um, yeah, so the whole sort of reaction um, to the very clear sexism was, was good. However, one thing I forgot about the film, which I really enjoyed watching, was there are so many women in it. So many. And yes, some of the outfits are a bit okay and a bit, oh yeah, all right then. Um, but again, it's a product of its time. Um, yeah, I can't blame a film for being made when it's made. Um, I think what you should do when you see a film that's got very clear um, what we would nowadays call like very clear sexism um, and all that sort of thing is to recognize it and say yeah actually that isn't okay like we that never was okay um, but it's a product of its time. Um, there's a film I really like called um, uh, it happened one night. Uh, it's a 1930s film. Um, prop it's considered like the first romantic comedy, um, and it's I really like it. It's quite funny, but again, it's a 1930s film. So these what the main male lead is kind of awful to the female lead, um, and there's a couple of scenes where it just is a little bit like oh yeah. I wouldn't let this fly nowadays at all. Um, but again, it's a 1930s film. I can't put it to the same standards as a film nowadays. What I can do is recognise the things which are really are not okay and just be aware of it, recognise it and say, yeah, that's not okay. I really enjoyed the film. It was so campy, it was so silly. Um, <laughs> I liked that there were just moments that didn't take itself too seriously, like the opening scene where you have James Bond appear with a seagull on his head. I mean, it's bizarre. It was, there were so many little bits I picked up on which I'd never really paid much attention to when I watched it on TV. So being able to sit on the big screen was a real pleasure. Um, I truly, truly enjoyed it. I don't, in terms of like jobs and stuff, this production company thing I'm really hoping comes off the ground. I am desperate to make it happen. It is I it is essentially me kind of starting my own business, which is really scary. I mean, at the moment I still have no money. I've not been paid for anything yet. Um, fingers crossed that, that that some money and a revenue stream comes in soon. Um, that's really scary, you know, at the moment I'm lucky in that my parents are paying, helping me pay for my bills and stuff. I am still doing commissions to get money in, um, but commissions are not going to pay for my house. <laughs> um, so again, I'm really lucky in that my parents are helping me with that, but I know they won't be able to help me forever, so I need to make this work. This really needs to work. Um, yeah, at this point I'm kind of sort of, if I'm gonna ask my friends for help, it's really, really genuine in the sense that I need help with this or I need someone to do this for me or whatever. Um, I hope it doesn't have to come to that, but it's the kind of thing where I just need to play it safe. Um, well, play it safe while also kind of throwing myself to the wind and hoping I get caught. <laughs> um, which is kind of what it feels like at the moment. I... 
these moments though, these doing the filming, going and watching James Bond in Pinewood, those moments made me so happy. Like it made me feel like I am on the cusp of doing what I've always wanted to do. It's something I have worked so hard for. It is something I have done my entire education to try and get towards. It is something I have given up my entire life to try and achieve. And just through various bad luck, um, bad, like, not, not being in the right place at the right time, like, I, I've always found that the, in the film industry very much belongs to the idea of being in the right place at the right time and knowing the right people and, and luck. You just need a ton of luck and unfortunately I've never had those three things. Um, so I've never really felt like I've achieved anything in my dream to work in the film industry. So, suddenly this is, feels like the closest I have ever, ever been to achieving that dream. And, and I, I just want to give it my all. I'm desperate to make it work because if I can't make this work, I think I have to give up on my dream. And that's really <laughs> scary to say because I don't want to give it up. It's the sort of thing where I've tried so, so hard to make it work over the years I've spent so much money and education and free time and just doing everything to try and get this to work and for one reason or another it never has and yeah I just if this doesn't work I don't know what I'm gonna do like I, I literally don't know what I'm going to do um I kind of never gave myself in my life a thought as to what happens if I don't achieve this. You know, I don't really have the skill set to do other things. So it's like, I either make it or... <laughs> I don't know, or I... Something happens, something scary happens. I think something more scary will happen. Um. And that's where this whole mental health thing comes into, is I've got to achieve this and right now I'm sort of riding on a high um, knowing I'm so close, I'm so close to this thing and I just can't let it crash and burn. So I'm hoping, praying that it works um, because I don't know what else I'm going to do. I really don't. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this is just a sort of general update of life in general, generally, doing general things. Um, I'm hoping again to do some more videos, not just vlogs, but these seem to be quite easy to do, so not. I'm not ashamed to admit that. <laughs> um, I might do some more crafting vlogs now that I've got um, uh, commissions in and materials have arrived so I can start working on them um, yeah we will we will see um, I'd love to do some more casual reviews I haven't actually been to the cinema like the proper cinema of like new releases in a really long time um, I was thinking it might be quite fun to do some reviews of bad shark movies because I have a particular affinity <laughs> towards bad shark movies so if you would like me to talk about bad shark movies I will happily do that. Um, I want to do more discussions about costumes as well um, it's just kind of working out the best the best way to present it and what sort of costumes I want to discuss. Um, yeah so I'm gonna have a sit down and a think and work it out as well as do some sewing so yeah uh, if you want to keep updated stick around until next time. Alright, <laughs> thank you for listening. Okay, bye!